Hi guys and welcome to vlog 3 of On A Tree By A River where over six episodes we're highlighting the project to protect and expand willow tip populations through the Tame Valley wetlands. Just now we're heading into the most crucial time of the year for these endangered little birds to maintain and increase their numbers. Yes, spring is finally upon us and with it a vibrancy in the natural world where all life looks to expand its range. It's an exciting time for the Tame Valley wetlands where new visitors appear. And residents are preoccupied beyond that of sourcing food. With a large increase of the invertebrate life, feeding stations like these at Lady Walk are falling quiet. Mostly. This means in the areas of the Tame Valley that hold willow tip populations, these birds suddenly become even more elusive, setting up and reinforcing territories among the young birch and willow. In this vlog, we are going to address the most important interventions that we, together with our amazing volunteers, are employing to give these prospecting birds the best chances year on year. Currently, with our willow tits now secreted firmly within the wet woodland, we're anxious to confirm individual territories. Volunteers like Dave Caulfield here at Middleton Lakes are part of our callback team, using handheld speakers to play willow tit calls in all areas of suitable habitat, trying to instigate a response from the birds themselves, and this confirming an active territory. Our current callback team of volunteers are right now carrying out these surveys along the whole length of the Tame Valley, but we need more people to join us and get involved. to help the Warwickshire Wildlife Trust to see if they could find willow tits in Kingsbury Water Park. They've got quite a distinctive cry so hopefully we will know them when we hear them. We've not heard any so far. If we ever did hear one call back we'd be so excited. I have told Sue if ever she finds one or hears one when I'm not here I'll be absolutely livid. <laughs> For the areas where we find willow tip, it's key that we continue to manage, maintain and improve upon them so that survival rates of juvenile birds increase. Crucially, we also need to create viable habitat around these known territories so that juvenile birds have somewhere to survive, find food, nest sites and potential mates. Relevant to this is our ongoing production, provision and sighting of nest boxes. Again, vitally assisted by volunteers and working to a specific willow tip brief. Although willow tips more often will excavate their own holes, some will take to boxes that are clad with dead wood and have shavings within. Though there may be a more vital role that these boxes will provide, that of easily accessible sites for the more dominant species such as blue tits which sadly have been known to evict willow tits from their newly excavated nest sites.
If you remember, I introduced the incredible Tame Force volunteer group back in Vlog 1 and we saw them removing swathes of rhododendron, opening up areas of new viable willow tit habitat. Another crucial element of their work is to create wet woodland from newly reclaimed sites, perfect for the willow tit. Wet woodland though naturally fills up with leaves and silt and periodic dredging and creation of new woodland ponds can and will complement natural flood zones from the streams that ribbon through the rich native woodland shrub, field and ground layer. Returning native shrubs, plant plugs and trees is then another crucial volunteer supported intervention. Not only to establish woodland, but the creation of new habitat that will become in time vital bridges or networks connecting the islands and pockets of willow tip populations, turning toeholds into ecological footholds. This, as with all our interventions, needs people on the ground. These volunteering gents from Lady Walk Reserve are only a small part of the plan to connect the whole length of the Tame Valley with viable willow tit habitat. We would love to have you come along and be a crucial part in pulling this bird back from the brink. Final intervention, and one again we briefly encountered in Vlog 1 and relevant to our willow tits current activities is deadwood strapping. Willow tits are industrious birds and only seem interested in one nesting medium, deadwood. A tried and tested method of increasing the opportunity for these birds to locate such source material is to assist by tethering dead sections of viable older elder willow or birch to living trees. As for the latest news on our willow tits, they have been heard calling and Kevin from Lady Walk saw this a few days ago.
Come and join us again for vlog 4 to further catch up on our willow tits and meet some people firmly invested in saving this amazing little bird on a tree by a river.